On the stand, I have a prediction inside of here. Uh, who has the time right now? What time is it? Is anyone at the time? About 8 15 ish? Okay. 9? 9? 8 56. So about, almost about 9 o'clock. Okay? So we're starting to run about 9 o'clock. Throughout the show, I want someone to come and grab that envelope. Take it back to your seat. Yes? What's your name, sir? Uh, John. John, great memory. Oh, not yet, John. Not yet. You're going to be the keeper of time. Whenever you feel like it, I want you to come up here and grab it, take it back to your seat, and then I want you to write the time that you got the envelope down on the arm. Okay, up there, okay? 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 It's um, about five minutes to nine, they said. Okay, so, so what time do I start? You go up there whenever you feel like it. Okay. okay? I have a prediction in there, and I want to try to make you grab that at the time that I predicted. Does that kind of make sense to you? I'm going to do things to you, John, for an example, that may seem weird to everyone else. I may be doing the show, and I may stop, and I may say, hey, John, is it time? Oh, uh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, is it? See? That kind of makes you feel awkward, but don't allow me to do that. You do it whenever your internal clock tells you to. <laughs> okay? And when you do that, just take the marker. And then I want you to simply write the time right across there that you got it. And then I'll ask you to come back up at the end of the show, and hopefully your time will match mine. Okay. Make sense? Wait, my eternal time or actual <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with whichever one. <laughs> Just keep flowing with it. Yeah, what do you want to do? <laughs> so, uh, see, we had someone with the uh, clock, the keeper of time. Um, would you mind? Um, uh, in your name, sir? John. Jo Jonathan. Yeah. Yes, Jonathan. A lot safer for you, no knife. Okay, please stand there. Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, what I'd like you to do is I'm a 9-11, okay, and we started about five minutes prior to nine or something like that, um, so about 8.55 or so forth. I want you to take the um, prediction, turn it to, towards you. Uh, yes, great. Put it against your chest. I want you to take off the paper clips. I don't want to touch it because I don't want you to think I'm doing something with it. Yep, that's fine. Great. Thank you. Open that up, and I want you to take out the clock that's in there, and still keep it against your chest. I don't want you to see anything yet. Hand me the envelope. Just yep, just go ahead and bring it up. Okay. Don't look at it. Yeah, don't look at it. Just hold it up against your chest. <laughs> go ahead and uh, let the bag go, and then hold it up against your chest. Now, the reason why I say that, I'm letting loose a little bit. Just move. I want everyone to kind of see. Turn it so they can kind of see. I want everyone to see. Move your arms. But I want everyone to see that there's no battery inside of the clock. So this was sitting up there the whole time once I made that prediction. Go ahead and take just a little peek. Turn it around and show everyone. My prediction was 9-11. His clock said 9-11. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's my time. This is for you. Thank you guys.